welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. I thought today I'd show you guys PC Mark 7. It was just released. I'm going to be using this in my hardware reviews to do some testing and performance benchmarks on the hardware. It comes in three different versions, basic, advanced, and professional. You can see here all the different uh, options that come for each, and you can get the basic one for free. Minimum system requirements, recommended system requirements to get it up and running, as you can see here. There are many different tests that uh, this tool can do. It's made for Windows 7, okay? It will do a lightweight test if you have a basic PC, or it will have a whole bunch of other suites of tests that will, it will do against your memory, your hard drive, SSD, CPU, GPU, you name it, okay? It's got everything you need and it's been updated. So it's not basically the same types of tests. It might look like it is, but it's not, okay? It's been updated to handle the latest type of hardware. So here are the different workloads, for example. Gives you an idea on what it's looking and testing for, okay? Uh, as you can see, DirectX 9, DirectX 10. If you want to really test DirectX 11, you should use 3D Mark 11 for that, obviously. But um, this is basically to test your overall system, right? Uh, not just testing your GPU. So that's why FutureMark has different types of uh, testing tools. Now, here I'm launching the benchmark and I'm recording at the same time so you guys can see what the, um, these tests are trying to do. So they're playing back images, they're doing image manipulation, they're loading things, they're testing how long um, a browser would take to open, how long do things take to render and, and move, things like that. So it's a lot of real world type of testing, not just um, you know a basic uh, test. So there's lots of stuff happening here. It could take anywhere from 20 minutes or more, depending on how fast your PC is, to actually complete one of these uh, full-blown uh, benchmarks. But it will open up WordPad, it will open up a browser, it will run a whole bunch of computations and tests to, to see how fast your memory, your hard drive, your CPU, everything, okay? So this is something that I'm gonna be using also with 3D Mark Vantage and 3D um, uh, Mark 11. Okay, so this will give us a good idea on not just frames per second, but also bytes per second, megs per second, um, how much operations per second a CPU or a GPU can do. Is it is it better for gaming? Is it better for photo editing, video editing? Um, you know, which scores is it actually the strongest in, right? So this gives you really detailed information and to many of you, it might you, you might think that it's oh it's the same type of test, but remember, even though some stuff might look similar, it's been updated to handle the latest and recognize the latest type of hardware that you might be testing in Windows 7. Okay, so here's a deep a score uh, example that I got. 2895 is the overall PC Mark 7 score that I got in Windows 7 using um, this type of hardware. So if we go and view the results here on uh, on PC Mark um, 7 the website. You can see that I'm running the Intel Core i7-980, uh, an AMD HD5870, six uh, gigs of uh, memory installed on here, and uh, it has been overclocked, even though it doesn't show it that it's been overclocked. Um, and then, of course, all the individual scores, okay? All the individual results are tallied and displayed in here. And this is very, very important when I go to compare uh, PCs and CPUs and uh, find out which one is better than the other I use a lot of this information to determine that right and um, and that's this is really going to help a lot when we do some uh, real-world type of testing figuring out how fast for example one SSD drive is compared to another SSD drive this will really tell us how many megs per second things are being pushed around back and forth for example so I thought I pointed out if you guys want to try it you can download it from the uh, FutureMark PCMark uh, uh, 7 website, of course. They have a free basic version that you can download and try it out and get the overall PCMark 7 score. And if you do that, please post your score below so we can take a peek. Okay, for more information, here's the website Okay, where you can uh, download it. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.